Now we need to subtract using column subtraction. First we have 13,442 minus 5,144. So we've written the question out with our digits lined up on the right hand side. So that means our ones, tens, hundreds, thousands and ten thousands place value columns will be lined up as well. Now with column subtraction we work from right to left. So first we have 2 minus 4. But 4 is larger than 2. So what we need to do here is go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front, and then we have 12 minus 4, which we can do because 12 minus 4 is 8. So now onto our tens column, because we exchanged, we have 3 minus 4. But 4 is larger than 3. So again, we need to go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front, and that gives us 13 minus 4, which is 9. Now, 3 minus 1 is 2. We can't do 3 minus 5 using the column method, so go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front, and 13 minus 5 is 8. So then we have 0 minus nothing, so we don't need to write anything in our 10,000s column. Our answer is 8,298. Now, 124,485 minus 29,669. We start on the right, but 9 is larger than 5, so we go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front, 15 minus 9 is 6, 7 minus 6 is 1, we can't do 4 minus 6, so go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front, 14 minus 6 is 8, 9 is larger than 3, so here again we need to go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front, 13 minus 9 is 4, and we can't do 1 minus 2, because 2 is larger than 1, so again go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front, and 11 minus 2 is 9. Now we have 0 minus nothing, so we don't need to write anything in our 100 thousands place, our answer is 94,816. Now we have 214,489 minus 47,969. 9 minus 9 is 0, 8 minus 6 is 2. We can't do 4 minus 9, so go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front. 14 minus 9 is 5. We can't do 3 minus 7, so go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front. 13 minus 7 is 6, we can't do 0 minus 4, so go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front. 10 minus 4 is 6, and now 1 minus nothing is still 1. So we have 166,520. So for our last question, we have 352,063 minus 147,445. 5 is larger than 3, so go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front, and now 13 minus 5 is 8, 5 minus 4 is 1, 4 is larger than 0, so we can't do 0 minus 4 using the column method, so again, Go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front. 10 minus 4 is 6. We can't do 1 minus 7, so go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front. 11 minus 7 is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. And 3 minus 1 is 2. So that gives us our answer, 204,618. Now to understand why this method works, so why we go to the left, one less, one in front. Let's show place value counters to represent the subtraction. So first we started with 13,442, which we have represented here with place value counters. Now what we need to remember is that we can exchange one place value counter for 10 of the place value to the right. So because we can exchange one 10 for 10 ones, that means that we can take four ones away. We can subtract one, two, then exchange. 
then subtract our third and fourth one. And you can see that when we do that, we now only have three tens, so that's why we had one less ten. But we now have eight ones, so that's why we have an eight as the ones digit of our answer. Then we had three tens but needed to take four away. So again, we needed to exchange one of our hundreds for ten more tens. So we can subtract one, two, three, then exchange, then subtract our fourth ten. So that leaves us with nine tens, so nine as the tens digit of our answer. But now, because we exchanged, we only have three hundreds. We took one hundred away to give us two hundreds in our answer. But then we needed to subtract five thousands. We can take away one, two, three, and then exchange with our ten thousand counter. We can exchange our ten thousand counter for ten more counters. So then, because we've already taken away three thousand counters, we need to take away two more so that we've subtracted five thousands altogether. And you can see that we now have eight thousand counters. So that's why we have an eight as the thousands digit of our answer. Then we started with 124,485, which we've represented here. First, we needed to subtract nine ones. But to do that, we had to exchange one of our tens for ten more ones. So to subtract nine ones, we can subtract one, two, three, four, five. Then we can exchange one of our tens for ten more ones. Then we can subtract the rest to get six ones in our answer. So now, because we've exchanged, we only have seven tens, and we can take six tens away. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, to get one as the tens digit of our answer. Now, we need to subtract six hundreds. We can subtract four hundreds, then exchange, then subtract two more. So we can take away one, two, three, four of our hundreds, exchange one of our thousands for ten more hundreds, and then subtract two more. So that's why we have an eight as the hundreds digit of our answer. Now we need to take away nine thousands. We can take away one, two, three, then exchange, then take away four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now we have four as the thousands digit of our answer. And because we exchanged one of our ten thousands, we now have only one ten thousand counter. But we need to take two ten thousands away. So we can take one away, and then we can exchange our hundred thousand for ten ten thousand counters and take away one more. So that means that we have nine as the ten thousands digit of our answer. And because we exchanged, we don't have any hundred thousands. Then we had 214,489. First, we subtracted all nine of our ones to leave us with zero ones in our answer. Then we subtracted six of our tens to leave us with two tens in our answer. But then we needed to take away nine hundreds. We only have four hundreds, so again, we're going to need to exchange. We can take away one, two, three, four, exchange, and then take away five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that leaves us with five hundreds. Then we needed to take away seven thousands. So again, because we only have three, we're going to need to exchange our ten thousand counter for ten more thousands. So we can take away one, two, three, exchange, then take away four, five, six, seven to leave us with six as the thousands digit of our answer. So now we don't have any ten thousand counters, but we need to take four away. So what we need to do is take one of our hundred thousands and exchange that for ten ten thousands. So now we can take four away. And that leaves us with six ten thousands, but because we exchanged, we only have one hundred thousand counter. Now we have three hundred and fifty-two thousand and sixty-three, 
which we've shown with place value counters here. First, we needed to subtract five ones. We can take away one, two, three, then exchange, then take away four, five to give us eight ones in our answer. Now we have five tens because we needed to exchange and we took away four tens to give us one ten in our answer. But now we don't have any hundreds, but we need to take four hundreds away. So first we need to exchange one of our thousand counters for ten hundred counters. Then we can take four away to give us six hundreds in our answer. Now we need to subtract seven thousands. We can subtract one thousand, exchange, then subtract two, three, four, five, six, seven thousands to give us four thousands in our answer. We need to subtract all four of the ten thousand counters that we have left. So in our answer, we have zero as the ten thousands digit, and then we just need to take away one of our hundred thousands counters to give us two as the hundred thousands digit of our answer.